present the President of the University of the Virgin Islands, Dr. David Hall, who will preside over tonight's ceremony. Good evening, Lieutenant Governor Gregory Francis, Ambassador Terence Todman and Mrs. Doris Todman, the Honorable Koizi Infumi, our keynote speaker, Senate President Sean Michael Malone and members of the 30th Legislature of the Virgin Islands, members of the judiciary, delegate to Congress Donna Christensen, Vice Chairman Smock, and other esteemed trustees, our distinguished platform guests, Commencement Marshal Dr. Rita Howard, to the members of the universally versatile intellectuals of the class of 2013. faculty, staff, ladies and gentlemen, and to all listening on the electronic media or streaming online at our very own WUVI, the voice of the university, good evening. I hereby officially declare to this gathering that the commencement exercise for the class of 2013 has now officially begun. This is a very special occasion, and thus there are very special individuals who have come to witness this event and to share this special moment with our graduating class. I would like to recognize our platform guests by name or by organization or affiliation. And I would ask them to stand as I recognize them. The Honorable Henry Smock, Vice Chairman of the UVI Board and our other trustees who are here. Our keynote speaker, the Honorable Kwaizi Mfume, who I will introduce shortly. <laughs> Senator Michael, Senator Sean Michael Malone, Senate President of the 30th Legislature of the Virgin Islands and the other senators who are here uh, in our VIP section. The Honorable Donna M. Christensen, VI Delegate to Congress. The Honorable Lieutenant Governor Gregory Francis, who is here on behalf of Governor John P. DeYoung, who could not join us. Honorable Ambassador Terrence Todman and his wife and family, would you please stand? We are always delighted when presidents from other universities are able to come and be with us. And we have two who have sent representatives who we would like to introduce. Uh, first, Dr. Brian Penn, a vice president from H. Lavity Stout Community College, here for President Carl Dawson. And Ms. Dolores Stapleton Harris, Vice President of Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College, 
here for President Hermia Morton Anthony. We also would like to recognize our provost, Dr. Camille McHale, and all of the other cabinet members who are present on the stage. Our deans will be introduced by name later by Dr. McHale, but I would ask them all to stand at this point as well. Our shared governance leaders are very important to us, just as our shared governance process is very important. I would ask that our president of the Student Govern Government Association, uh, Ms. Kimberly Smith, to please stand. <clears throat> Next, Dr. Nancy Morgan, UVI Senate Chair. And we also have Dr. Stephen Ratchford, who is the Faculty Executive Committee's Vice Chair. I would ask him and all of our faculty to please stand. <clears throat> no commencement would be complete without student speakers. Uh, we are blessed to have Ms. Leslin Tung, who you have just heard from, who provided the invocation. You will hear from Ms. Linda Ritter, our class student class speaker. <clears throat> Ms. Anya Stewart will be our benediction speaker. And we are also delighted to have with us this year Ms. Percival Cloudon, a CEO, <clears throat> excuse me, CEO of the Economic Development Authority. <clears throat> All of the special people, though, are not on this platform. There are special people in the audience. Very, very special people for our graduates. So I would ask the class of 2013 to join me in giving a thunderous round of applause for all of the parents, friends, and loved ones who are here. And I would ask them to please stand. You applauded too quickly. Would all of the parents, loved ones, family, and friends of our graduates please stand so that we can recognize you. And those among you who just stood, and those who did not, who are mothers, I would like to wish you an early Happy Mother's Day. Mm. On behalf of the trustees, faculty, staff, and students of this institution, allow me to welcome you to the University of the Virgin Islands 49th Annual Commencement Exercise. Established in 1962 as the then College of the Virgin Islands, this institution, its students, and many graduates have made significant contributions to the territory, the surrounding Caribbean region, and in national and international arenas. In the footsteps and on the shoulders of their predecessors, the class of 2013 will take their place amongst the graduates from this university who make a difference in the world. But UVI is not just an institution of higher education. It is an institution that transforms lives. And it is that transformation process which we celebrate and honor tonight. I confess that I have a special affinity with this graduating class of 2013. As some of you will recall, 
I began my tenure as president at the university in August 2009, along with some of the four-year graduates that are receiving their degrees tonight. And I feel as though we have journeyed on a road together, and I am honored to have witnessed your growth and transformation, just as we both have witnessed the growth and transformation of this special university. Jesse Owens, the famous Olympic athlete, once stated, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. Tonight, this ceremony symbolizes that dreams have become reality because of the determination, dedication, discipline, and effort of those sitting before me. Not only have your dreams become a reality, but this university has been an instrument of life transformation for many of our graduates. And though all of you have individual stories of this transformation process, I would like to highlight one story that captures this principle. Mrs. Uville Matthew George started her studies started her studies at UVI while she was employed as a custodial worker in the Department of Education. She first had to complete her GED before she could start on her UVI journey. Of her duties as a custodian, Mrs. Matthew George is quoted as saying, everything you do, you should do with pride. I did my custodial work with pride and I did it well. Refusing to be typecast by anyone other than herself, in 2008 she earned a Bachelor's of Art degree from UVI. Understanding that the transformation process was not over, she sought a second degree from UVI. And tonight, Mrs. Uville Matthew George is graduating with a master's degree in education. So a former custodian in the Department of Education has been transformed into a teacher with a Master of Education degree because of her determination, but also because of the existence of this university in this territory. But she is not an exception. If time permitted, I could give you story after story after story of how individuals in this class and previous classes transformed their lives and in the process have transformed this territory. So part of what we are celebrating tonight are transformational stories. And just as graduation is a time of excitement and celebration, it is also a time of somber and sober reflection. Last year at our graduation, one of our brightest students who earned a Bachelor's of Arts degree in elementary education walked across the stage with joy and excitement and gave me one of the biggest hugs of all of the students. And less than four months later, David Payne Jr. was senselessly murdered in front of his home. David's mother, Mrs. Blanche Frazier, and the mother of his children, Miss Janice Myers, and David's children have joined us tonight. His father, David Payne Jr., was not able to join us, but asked that I share his regards. And I would ask at this moment for the family to please stand. Applause 
In David's memory, the university has started an anti-violence and peace initiative as an outcome of this tragedy. We are committed to using our resources, insights, and research to combat and eliminate the existence of violence in our communities. I remind us of this tragedy, not to distract from the joy of this evening, but to remind us that not only must the university be an engine for the transformation of individual lives, but we must also be a force for the transformation of this territory. As a community, we all must work harder to rid ourselves of the scourge of violence that threatens to take over our communities and which have recently even reached our campus. We are filled with sorrow at the recent shooting that claimed the life of a young man, Troy Joseph, on the Albert A. Sheen campus. And this should remind all of us as a territory, as a nation, as a world, that if we invest more in the education and the moral and cultural development of our children, we could invest less in the criminal justice system and in the immeasurable cost that we all suffer because of these tragedies. I also share the story to remind all of us, but especially our graduates, that life is so precious. We live in a time when we can take nothing for granted. We are not promised tomorrow, and thus we must live our lives to the fullest and embrace each moment and embrace those around us with love and with gratitude. So in conclusion, I congratulate those of you who are graduating tonight. This is a precious and sacred moment that you will cherish for the rest of your life. Take a picture in your mind of each moment and disregard all of the small things that may not go right tonight. This is a joyful occasion you work diligently to achieve this milestone, and you deserve to treasure and enjoy every moment. The transformation process that began here must continue in the world, and I wish you much success. And I say to you that it is a privilege to be your president. Thank you.